death can be scary, painful, and even <laughs> funny. <laughs> and all emotions come up during the seasonal Death Cafe Boise meetups. There's cookies and hot apple cider here on the table. Amongst the headstones of Dry Creek Cemetery. Is this macabre at all? No. 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 It's really remarkable how lovely um, the Death Cafe is. I love that you're planning about what you're going to do with the dog. Now in its 10th year hosting gatherings to talk about dying. Something that's hard and universal and brutal and beautiful all at once. To snuff out fear. There's such an acceptance here of anything, an acceptance with, uh, with, with open hearts. And we all learn from, from each other. Everybody in the circle learns. And cultivate laughter. I think people are really surprised about how much we laugh, how much fun we actually have talking about a subject that's like not very fun. We could play a game. Have you ever played with the death deck? <laughs> okay. These cards ask a question about death with three answers. Some uh -oh. cheater, flippant to promote conversations. Who wants to go first? Like about advanced directives, outlining plans for after death. See, they may or may not exist, so good luck finding them. <laughs> which, which is the case for me. Okay. <laughs> so, you know, I haven't thought about it a whole lot, but stuff does happen. My brother passed away when he was 22, and I wonder, was any of that his Land? Probably not. If something should happen to me, I don't know how my family, who would have to deal with it. Making a plan can save loved ones from that guessing. I was out visiting my mom's grave and there's a little plot down the road. <laughs> so I purchased that. <laughs> so I now know where I'll be. Also coming up, the other side of life. I, I just don't know. Uh, we are not, I don't think we're supposed to know and we can't know and that is scary. That, that keeps me up at night. Uh, it keeps me up less often now. <laughs> In the last, last couple of months, uh, I quit working at Office Max. <laughs> I, I used to have that same fear and it would grow into almost this like spiraling feeling where it's like, you can't even imagine it. And I ultimately kind of like came to the decision to be comfortable with the idea that if I do think that there's like nothing after my life, then I'm motivated to live well, and I just want to have fun and be happy while I'm here. You bring up such a great point because most of the people when they're going through the dying process, that's one of the things they say, I wish I would have lived my life better. And those involved with Death Cafe Boise say it helps with that. I'm gaining intimacy with people. There's such honest conversation that happens and I'm honored to be part of something that I believe is sacred. Makes me want to cry almost. I always leave a better person, uh, a happier person, and more relaxed. I'm very comfortable with dying, and anytime it's my time, I'm ready.